Hi folks, in today's video we're going to be painting a tow vehicle from start to finish in a really cool World War II colour scheme. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and every time you purchase something from this link it greatly helps my YouTube channel so please use the link in the description box below. I also want to say a huge thank you to all my Orc Painter Nerd viewers that commented on my last video about my mental health. I've had a few good days lately and I felt like doing a bit of painting and I thought what better way of thanking uh, all my YouTube subscribers than to do another tutorial. So uh, I really hope you like this video guys. As always it's going to be a long video so go grab yourselves a nice hot drink or maybe an ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. I'll start off by priming the miniature using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer White. This is a fantastic primer and it's really tough once cured. There is a few caveats though. It very harmful if inhaled so please make sure you're wearing a respirator and possibly uh, have a spray booth for good ventilation also it's very harmful to lesser quality airbrushes that don't have PTFE solvent proof seals so please make sure you're using a good quality airbrush if you're using Alclad 2 primers We're going to be painting the miniature up in a really nice US olive drab style colour from World War II. The Wargamer series paints from AK Interactive are absolutely fantastic and we'll be going to use in the paints from the set. We're going to start off by using olive drab shadow and we're going to pre-shade the vehicle. What pre-shading entails is adding deep shadows underneath the base coat layer so we're going to go around all the panel lines with the olive drab shadow and we're going to create some really deep shadow lines for when we paint over the subsequent layer of base it's going to show up underneath that really nice deep shading that we're doing now
Now we're going to apply the base layer which is olive drab base. This is going to look really nice now as it's going to show that shadow underneath. We can show as much or as little as the shading as we like depending on how thick we place down the olive drab base colour. But as you can see the shadows showing through nicely and it's helping those panels to pop out a little bit more. Now we're going to add some highlights using Olive Drab Highlights from the set. We're going to go around all of the panels on the miniature and we're going to pick out all the centre parts of all the panels. This is going to help the details pop that little bit more.
Now we're going to create what's known as either a panel wash or a pin line wash. We're going to be using Ammo by MIGS black wash. You can thin this down a little bit with some odorless thinner and this is what I do just to allow it to flow a little bit more smoothly. I'm really not worried about too much of the overspill because we can clean that up with some odorless thinner a little later on. This is the benefit of enamel products over acrylic, whereas acrylic dries fairly fast and once it's dried you can't remove it, whereas with enamel products you can actually remove the surface detail of stains that you don't want with some odorless thinner. Here you can see I'm doing exactly the same thing again, filling all of those panel lines with a black wash from Ammo by MIG and it's really going to make those panels jump out at us and come alive.
we're going to be placing down some absolutely awesome decals on this vehicle and to make sure that the decals go on as effortlessly as possible we're going to airbrush a gloss varnish layer here you can see that i didn't let the enamel wash dry thoroughly don't do what i did guys the decals we're using today were kindly sent to me by green stuff world and as you can see they're absolutely fantastic some beautiful uh, design world war ii decals and the cool thing about these decals is that they're all pre-cut and uh, super thin so once you place them on the actual uh, vehicles they go on absolutely effortlessly I don't use any special solutions to apply these decals because I added a gloss layer all I did was apply some water to the decal to allow them to come off the backing paper and then I placed them into uh, the position that I want with some water on the brush I then use a hairdryer to make sure they're as flat and down on the vehicle as possible and wick off all of the excess water. Here you can see I'm using Games Workshop's Edge Highlight Paint, Krieg Khaki, and I'm going around all of the panels and I'm hard edge highlighting them. So, as you can see here, I'm just making the panels pop out and come alive with that hard edge highlight. I'm really not too worried if the uh, panels are really thick or really thin, as because I'm going to be chipping all of the panels, a lot of the hard edge highlighting gets hidden anyway. Now I'm going to be using Vallejo Metal Colour Gunmetal Grey just to add a few metallic touches to the vehicle. All of the red parts on the vehicle were painted with Games Workshop's Corn Red. I also added chipping to the vehicle that unfortunately I haven't got the footage for as I forgot to hit the record button, silly me. But the chipping was done with Games Workshop's Rhinox Hide paint and I used a sponge to actually stipple the um, chipping onto the tank. Also, I never filmed myself adding subtle soot streaks with the airbrush to the exhaust vents of the vehicle and i think that's the only thing i forgot to film guys but anyway i really hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please hit the like button please add a comment also i love reading all your comments guys it really does make my day and thank you once again to my youtube channel sponsors goblin gaming don't forget to uh, hit that link below if you are purchasing anything from goblin gaming as it really does help the channel guys and thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I'll catch you in the next one.